Well, we're about to flip the calendar from February to March, so that means we're going to march toward warmer spring-like temperatures, right? Mm -hmm. Not so much. Let's go to the details. So let's give you an idea of the timing of these cold air intrusions, starting with Friday's departure from average highs. So areas shaded in the blue are generally colder than average. Areas shaded in the yellow and orange are above average temperatures for this time of year. And on Friday, you see the cold is basically confined to the northern plains, uh, the Great Lakes, and in parts of the northeast. By the way, we could have many record low temperatures Friday morning in parts of the upper Midwest, Great Lakes, and northeast, including places like Detroit and New York City. Now as we go to Saturday, we can see that cold air plunging southward through the northern plains into the upper Midwest. And then as we head to Sunday, that cold air continues to work its way down into parts of the southern plains through Oklahoma and Texas. And by Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday, that cold air just continues to plunge southward and bleed to the eastward. So basically the eastern half of the nation will be generally colder than average as we head into the upcoming week. So let's break down some particulars starting in the Midwest. Uh, highs on Friday, single digits and teens in the northern plains and upper Midwest, tw teens, 20s, and 30s through much of the rest of the Great Lakes into the Missouri Valley. As we head into Saturday, uh, there will be parts of the upper Midwest that won't get above zero on March 1st, including Fargo, and even the Twin Cities may struggle to get above zero. Look at that, single digits in Des Moines. Uh, 20s at best in Kansas City and Chicago. And it gets even colder on Sunday for some of these locations where temperatures will struggle to get to 10 degrees in Kansas City. They haven't had a March day with a high that failed to get to the teens in Kansas City in records dating to 1888. Now if we go to the south, uh, we can see the cold air plunging into Oklahoma on Sunday with highs not getting above freezing. Boy, enjoy those 60s and 70s in the southeast because we head into Monday uh, those will be gone with uh, highs in the 40s and 50s replacing that Monday into Tuesday. I'm meteorologist Jonathan Erdman, the Weather Channel.